Hi, Year 6. So today we're going to cover about the de about deforestation and its effects. So this is page 108 to 113. So deforestation, and it will explain what it is in the lesson. Okay, so your lesson objective for this lesson is to explain what deforestation is and its effects on the environment. So, um, daripada pelajaran ini, kamu akan belajar apa deforestation ini and then apa yang punya kesan kepada environment. So, you have to define deforestation bagi apa makna deforestation ini. List reasons why forests are cleared. Kamu mesti beritahu mengapa kami perlu menabang pokok-pokok dalam hutan ini. And then list effects of deforestation on air, soil, rivers, and animals. So, beritahu apa kesannya arah udara, tanah, uh, sungai, sama binatang. So, Human activities that change the environment. Last time we talked about natural activities that change the environment like banjir, uh, tornado, tsunami. And now we're talking about human activities. So, apa yang manusia buat arah environment ini. So, human activities can change the environment in many ways. We change environments when we clear forests, litter, and pollute the air and water. So, kami mengubah... Um, environment ini uh, bila kami menabang pokok-pokok dalam hutan-hutan um, membuang sampah di merata-rata sama uh, pelut uh, udara sama air ini so macam membuat udara sama air itu kamah lah so let's uh, look at what is deforestation apa kan deforestation ini so deforestation is the removal of trees and other plants from an environment. So, dari environment atau kami uh, menabang pokok atau uh, membuang uh, tumbuh-tumbuhan di kawasan atau. So, the trees are usually removed by cutting. So, sini cutting. So, if kamu lihat, dia punya log sebenar-benar bersih, uh, sebaris. So, bisa orang guna uh, something untuk putong pokokannya or burning so bis orang membakar segala tumbuh-tumbuhan arah kawasan atau so ani berbeza nih bukannya bushfire bushfire if the fire atau out of control deforestation bila yang membakar the bakar uh, kebakaran atau ada dalam control dapat bis orang control bis orang mengawal di mana api atau so, why does deforestation happen? Mengapa kami perlu menabang atau membuang tumbuh-tumbuhan and pokok-pokokan So, one reason is for agriculture, planting crops. Kami perlu tanah-tanah atau uh, kami buang tumbuh-tumbuhan yang uh, indah dapat buat makanan and then kami replace with tumbuh-tumbuhan yang dapat buat makanan. Another reason is to build roads. So, uh, to make travel easier supaya perjalanan kami lebih sanang kami ada jalan raya so kami perlu remove uh, pokok-pokok atau supaya indah terblok jalan raya and then eh bu uh, bukannya indah terblok jalan raya supaya kami ada uh, tanah untuk membuat jalan raya ini so that's why kami ada deforestation to build roads and then building houses so, kami perlu tanah itu untuk membuat rumah. And then, building factories. So, we need to build factories ini kadang-kadang to make items and to give people jobs. So, we need to clear out land, make sure ada tanah yang free, buat factory. And then, uh, because of that, kami perlu clear the land, lato, deforestation. So, Ada another reason for deforestation is kami perlukan kayu dari pokok-pokok atau. So, trees are cut down for their wood. Wood is used to, so kami perlu kayu atau untuk build houses, membuat rumah, make furniture, membuat uh, furniture, and then make paper, membuat kertas. So, um, apa kesannya deforestation ane? 
So one of the re uh, kasan, the effects of deforestation, is air pollution when the trees are cleared by burning. So tadi ada tisu begitu, deforestation ane boleh berlaku uh, by burning. Kami membakar kawasan atau. So the smoke from fires make the air dirty. So um, pasal kami uh, pasal kebakaran atau banyak, ya ada membuat banyak asap. So atau pollute the air. So the air becomes dirty. So what happens if the air becomes dirty? It makes it difficult for us to breathe. Payahkan bernafas. And then, because the polluted air is unhealthy, so, uh, udara yang kamah ini indah sehat, so, it can cause breathing problems. Uh, ada masalah-masalah uh, pernafasan, especially for people with asthma, uh, yang masuk ke paru-paru, so, paru-paru itu macam tersekat rasanya. So, uh, this is one effect. Another effect is soil erosion. So, soil erosion, ani to, yang tanah-tanahnya itu runtuh ke bawah. So, ya erode. Erode ni macam ya, um, saya nak explain lah, ya, uh, runtuh lah. Yes, ya runtuh, I guess. So, in a natural environment, the roots of the trees help to hold the soil in place. So, akar dari pokok itu sebenarnya uh, memastikan tanah itu indah runtuh. Ya, stay saja di sana. Indah bergerak ke kiri, ke kanan, ke atas, ke bawah. So, when the trees are removed, the soil is easily blown away by wind and washed away by rain. So, bila angin itu terkena, tanah itu macam ter tergarap. That's why macam yang ada uh, support. So, ya runtuh ke bawah because of the rain. And then, um, the wind pun uh, meniup the soil atau. This is called soil erosion. Plants cannot grow well on eroded soil. So, if you notice, arah kawasan-kawasan ada the tanah runtuh atau, mana ada plants. It's all soil saja. So, plants cannot grow there. Soil erosion can also cause landslides, which damage homes and cause loss of lives. So, if ada rumah sekiranya di bawah ane, and then ada hujan lebat, so that the land ane boleh runtuh very quickly, and then boleh uh, collapse arah rumah atau. So, rumah atau kira macam terdamage lah, and then if orang ada di dalam, they could lose their lives. Okay. Um, another effect is water pollution. So, ani sambungan dari uh, the previous slide because ada soil erosion atau if we ampere river, so the soil that is washed by rain during erosion can be carried away to nearby streams and rivers. So tanah yang runtuh atau boleh masuk ke dalam sungai. This pollutes the streams and rivers, making the water muddy. So you can see here the water is actually quite muddy. When water becomes muddy, less sunlight reaches water uh, uh, underwater plants. So ada tumbuh-tumbuhan di bawah sungai atau because ada mud arah the uh, water, inda banyak cahaya tambus sampai ke plants atau. So, this reduces their ability to photosynthesize and can kill them. So, kurang sunlight, inda dapat photosynthesize, so boleh bisdorang mati. The plants are uh, underwater at the. Okay, this is the last effect of deforestation, extinction of plants and animals. So, when forests are cleared, many of the organisms that live there die. So, banyak uh, organism, benda-benda yang hidup dalam forest atau boleh mati. Animals that survive have to move to new environments. So, bukannya semua yang mati, ada yang hidup, tapi bisa orang paksa mencari tempat baru untuk tinggal. The problem is, the new environments may not be able to supply the animals with the things they need to survive. So, di kawasan baru atau maybe nada uh, all the things yang ia perlukan untuk hidup. Uh, let's say, for example, macam, uh, okay, let's take the orang utan. So, di orang utan atau tinggal tempatnya atau banyak 
uh, fruits, banyak uh, ada water nearby, so they can live peacefully, ada pokok tinggi-tinggi. So if there is deforestation, they may have to move to a forest where the trees aren't that tall, there's not enough fruits for them because ada binatang-binatang lain sudah, and then the water pun indah berapa as clean. So, they move to a new place, tapi indah juga ada benda-benda, semua benda yang bisa orang perlukan untuk hidup. So, they might die also in the new environment anyway. So, deforestation is one of the biggest causes for extinction. So, apa arti extinction ini kan? An organism becomes extinct when no more of its kind exists. So, extinction ini artinya pupus. Nada lagi binatang atau arah dunia ini. So, a common example of an animal that is extinct is the dodo bird. So, you can look that up kamu, if kamu mau tahu pasal the dodo bird, kamu boleh cari. So, groups of animals that are almost extinct are called endangered. So, binatang-binatang yang kan pupus, belum lagi pupus, kan pupus, namanya endangered. So, some endangered animals can be seen in this slide and your textbook. So, kamu boleh lihat textbook for the names of these animals. So, um, this one is the proboscis monkey, the orangutan, the rafflesia, the rhinoceros hornbill, and then the last one, ani, uh, apa namanya? The Bornean Clouded Leopard. So, ani the Bornean Clouded Leopard. So, ani semua binatang ani endangered right now. Okay, so for your exercise, can you do page 75 to 79 of your workbook? Good luck, year six.